basketball kept me in school. <laughs> I wasn't a kid that really, really like enjoyed, you know, school. Me and my wife got married in 2002. January 2003, my mom had the brain tumor. My wife found out she was pregnant. We had just bought a house and we was doing foster care for teenage boys. And I quit my job to start this mentoring program. So I always wanted to have, a, have my degree from college once I started. And um, once I quit though, of course, uh, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back. And next thing you know, it's 20 years. Dr. John Odom, um, Charles Hamilton Houston Institute, I met with him and we talked and he was like, you know, so what's your degree in? And I was like, well, I gotta finish my degree. And he was like, so what you waiting on? And I was like, well, you know, time is not right. He was like, well, when is the time right? For every time you said time is not right, you, you could be almost done with that. And I was like, you got a point. And I knew a professor at Upper Iowa. It was the perfect opportunity. And then it worked out well for me because they offered eight week classes at night and it was only one day a week that I could take a class and kind of be working towards my degree. I love the fact that they recognize that we are like working individuals. Um, so we have these other demands on top of trying to like get our education. I got a second chance. It really did something for me self-esteem wise and just really feeling like, man, I could have did this a long time ago. At Upper Iowa, you know, I am a, 3.7. <laughs> I've never had that, you know what I mean? I've, I've never had that and um, it just feels so good.